Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. The thumbnail says uh, something like jubilation or being happy about these people fighting each other. You know, normally something that is causing conflict, supposed not to be a thing of jubilation, won't have to be settling and the rest. But this one, uh, we have to be happy because with this conflict, this was meant to come out because before synergically they've been working together they've been working hand in hand covering each other up now they are opening themselves up they are opening their yash Je madam jennifer have come out to speak madam blessing have come out to speak us stars that host have come out to speak uh many of them ocg we are waiting for him Sha. so this week is going to be a bumper week god is working it this is the hand of god if you are not spiritual better believe this now that god is working it because god have inserted volcanic fire in their midst now everybody now is trying to look for who to blame they are firing each other the center is becoming very hot you know Things are falling apart. The center cannot hold again. So just uh, electrifying Hitman and uh, Bartholomew, two of them are just having a hot. Listen to the horse from the horse's mouth. See you on the other side. Just listen to them. It's Friday, everybody. Today's 10th of May, 2024. This is me, myself, and I. You're the electrifying Hitman. I am Michael. Uh, coming up today, today's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. It's TGIF, everybody. 10th of may 2024 i want to firstly appreciate um, you know everybody coming to the global 360 platforms we want to say thank you you know for you know believing in us believing in my dream you know got in my back by gbb body and uh, i want to encourage everybody uh, that has been part of the platform to you know circulate the uh, the adverts you know for more people to join because we need the crowd to you know uh, benefit from the juicy offers we are about to you know dish out to the grants community which is the force of its kind because uh, as you can see i don't need to blow my trumpet uh, this is the first time you know transparency is at the peak you know of everything we do in the grants community because we have to set the example for others to follow since uh, all these clergy men have been in the grants community since 2016 and not even 26 and 2012 down the line there is nobody from all the clergy men grants community the clergy men and women grant uh, uh, holders handlers have ever displayed anything when it comes to even a quarter of the transparency the electrifying hits man i am michael and the legendary uh engineer moses agoche has displayed you know within two weeks i came to partner with gbb uh before i go on let me address uh uh, Reverend Bartholomew's uh, VN today, you know, talking about, you know, not, uh, you know, disowning me, you know, removing me from all these platforms, not making me his spokesperson, EDC, like that. In the first place, but uh, Reverend Bats, the big papa, the way I call him, you know, he doesn't have the money to pay me as a spokesperson because, uh, you know from uh, it's surprising to me that you know from all the monies the millions the billions he has made you know from his voluntary refugees grant you know sales of clusters according to him he started 2020 to that of uh, Tilbat when he sold clusters you know for 100 and uh, above 100 official price rates of 20,000 he sold a sponsorship deal with I, which I gave him a lot of people when I was still in this platform you got it 400k and all the monies he has made you know he made from two bats you know from the thousands of clusters that he has he has nothing to show for them it's baffling me so is in fact if I didn't come to Abuja I wouldn't even believe if anybody tells me uh, that uh, 
Reverend Bat has no dying and he's still a tenant. And the most shocking part of the whole thing is that he uses a scar to do, you know, taxi work in Abuja, which is called Kabu Kabu. That is the most disgusting, you know, part of the whole shit. And uh, he talked about, uh, you know, me, you know, <laughs> him bringing me to the grand community. I just left. Anyways, uh, everybody knows that the electrifying heat man, I can, you know, bring a lot of cats that I have my platforms. And uh, I wanted to set the record straight here. Reverend Bat never brought me to the grand community. When he, you know, sensed my beginning popularity, he had to put a phone call to me, yo, and said that he would like me to be one of his admins. You got it. So he had to link me up with the former CG, Shago Gold, which he is not in the good role with. You got it to make me, you know, one of the, I think I started with the principal admin before I was promoted, you know, like that, based on my the qualities the person that brought me to the grants community is a man that called they called her a Fayoma from Delta State. it was the one that talked me into uh tepicon no teal bats that was two years back you know he told me teal bats will pay edc encouraged me to come into the grants community like that so initially i never wanted to do that but later you know i said let me just give it a try so that was how I came into the Grants community. So Reverend Bat talked about, you know, so that is just that. He talked about people not, uh, you know, people should not uh, uh, key into what I do, EDC, uh, like that, so that they won't come back uh, regretting it. <laughs> Since I've been in the Grants community, I am the most transparent person in the Grants community without stain. I don't have the stain Reverend Bat has. You got it. So, you know, I've worked my ass for Reverend Bat. Reverend Bat Loming is a man that loves using you without affecting you financially. He uses you and he will call you the same person he uses for financial assistance. Most of his admins, I can testify that when I was part of his admin. We contribute monies, you got it, I think every weekend to support him. That is the kind of man he is. He loves using you. This is a man that will not allow anybody to use him without him making profits. You got it, but the reverse is the case. I have worked my ass up for Reverend Bat without getting a cover, not even an MTN card of 100 bucks. Let me give you guys a little history of what he was talking about today. You know, uh, yeah, Reverend Bat put on phone call to me and he told me that, uh, you know, I need to come to Abuja and uh, he has something to do yo, with me and Negoche liaison together. And that is, we will we'll be working under him. And he told me that I'll be the one to foot my, you know, transportation money my accommodation and my feeding. I was in my studio with my, you know, protégés, my producers and the rest. And, uh, you know, I had to put it on speaker for all of them to fill it. So after that, I told him I'll get back to him later. And uh, in fact, I was highly disappointed because uh, you want me to come to Abuja to work under you. And at the same time, you told me that i'll be the one to take care of my transportation take care of my accommodation feeding logistics whatever i look at the man as a reverend a pastor you want me to come and work under you sir you called me i never called you just like somebody an expert you need an expert trait you know job or services then you end up you know telling the expert traits somebody that is an expert or wizard in a particular field you need his services to calm down to where you stay that the person will be the one to foot his bills transport wise feeding wise accommodation wise logistics wise edc 
I look at the man based on respect, and uh, I just felt just as if I should, you know, respond to him. You know, I won't, he wouldn't like it. So I just had to, you know, send him a, a write up in his DM that uh, I won't be chance. I'll be traveling to Ghana, you know, just to cut him off. I never even knew that the project he was talking about was on, you know, by engineer Moses Gotcha. So at the end of the day, yo, uh, the next day I had. I got a phone call from engineer Moses Gotcha that uh, I should come down to Abuja, you know, to partner with them and do the work perfectly like that. So I told him, I said, oh, okay, you own the project, but Reverend Bell told me he owns the project. And uh, this is what Reverend Bell told me. So he was pissed off that I will take care of my transportation, my, you know, accommodation feeding ADC. He was pissed off, so he had to say that is very wrong. I don't know. This is what Reverend Bertolome will not accept. I told Bert that, look, in, if I want to invite you, if I want to invite anybody for a job, I should be prepared, you know, to foot the bills when it comes to his transportation. I should make provisions for his accommodation feeding EDC. So I came to Abuja. You know, true flight. I landed two weeks back, so he was even surprised. He, he shouted me up that uh, more and you know more told him I'll be coming. I said yes. Yeah. So I came down, and uh, you know, before then, this is Reverend Bartholome, the big papa that sent me his voice notes for me to circulate around the social media. I do that without collecting a dime from him. And without vetting his voice notes and all the platforms i do circulate his voice notes in you know all the admins they don't give me rules that i should send his voice note privately to them to vet it before they will put it in their platforms and when i do that i finish circulating his voice notes i will screenshot it i normally screenshot it and send the screenshot to him but when i came to abuja i noticed some funny things happening he started giving me you know rules that you know i should any v videos we do that is anywhere we go to the offices edc